Welcome, uh, everybody. I've, I've been asked to um, give you a, a brief talk about opportunities for uh, coming and uh, working um, and living in, in China, and particularly um, coming to uh, the UESTC University where I've been working um, now for the last nine years and intend to continue to work here um, for a, a, as long as possible, as well as living in China. It might not perhaps have occurred to you that there are opportunities in China or perhaps you think it's too different a, a culture or environment uh, to even consider in this respect. But I can, I can tell you um, very clearly that there are amazing opportunities here and I am very happy that I you know, took advantage of them uh, nine years ago and I would be very happy uh, to recommend anyone else to do the same now. I had experience of other um, universities uh, in China, um, but UESTC were particularly encouraging. Um, and importantly, from my point of view, they had really the kind of facilities you know, that I needed. I started off just me. Um, now there are 45 members of, uh, of, my, of my lab. It's an international lab. Very importantly for my translation research, it's in the medical area. It's been uh, really exciting to be able to develop collaborations with the major hospitals that are actually affiliated to the university. We still have pretty extensive international collaborations with the universities in Cambridge, Maastricht and Ulm as well as Caltech. We've had very generous funding of course uh, startup from the government as well as from the university. From my own point of view, I was extremely honoured to be awarded the National Friendship Award by the government in 2019, which is the highest award that China can give uh, to a foreigner. So that was a, a, an amazing accolade. So what about the strengths of UESTC as, as a university? Well, traditionally, it's been extremely strong in the areas of communications, electronics. In fact, it's the number one university um, in China for, in these areas. But um, along with a, a number of other universities, it's become increasingly multidisciplinary. In terms of foreign, but not only foreign you know, talent, um, the university is amazingly supportive of, of individuals that it recruits. And it's really, really keen on you know, hearing people who are interested uh, in coming and living and working um, here in China. In terms of the environment, um, it's got three beautiful, um, but they are accessible, you know, they're kind of rural campuses mostly, but they're very accessible with lakes and ginkgo trees. It, it covers around 300 acres, I think. It's a beautiful place to just walk out and think. Education, of course, is very important if you're coming here with a family. It's got high quality schools for, for children. If you're into sports and leisure facilities, it's got a, a huge uh, facilities. What about Chengdu? Um, and it may come as a little bit of a surprise to you, but it's, Chengdu is actually ranked number one uh, as a city to live in China. Ever since I've been here, I've been really impressed by how safe and secure an environment it is, and, and also how friendly the people are, um, and how friendly particularly you know, towards foreigners. It's increasingly international, many big business venues coming here. There are a number of international high-tech companies based in, in Chengdu as well. In terms of getting around the city, there's been huge investment in transport infrastructure, um, of the, obviously the roads, but most particularly a very extensive metro system and a tram system. And for those of you who really like Chinese food, Sichuan cuisine is, is amazing. It's very spicy. Yeah, for me, it's the best cuisine in, in, in China and, and not just because I live here. Uh, you know, in general, as I say, it, it's a very pleasant environment to both work and live in. The most important sense that I've always got here from, from working and even living, but mostly working, is how much I've been valued. Um, you know, you, the university, government, um, you know, local people, they all value people with the kinds of experience that I have. And obviously I really enjoy training and, and teaching the students here. So I would really strongly encourage you um, to consider you know, coming to work and, and live in, in China and particularly uh, in UESTC range from postdocs all the way up to 
very senior um, professors. And I would particularly say that this is actually a very, very good opportunity for those of you who are in a similar situation in the UK or elsewhere of retiring, um, who want to have uh, another opportunity to fulfill their, their research uh, ambitions. Also young people, as I say, it's a good family environment. Um, and you know, increasingly, uh, China is, is a good place to, to come and, and uh, work and raise a family and enjoy um, the country. I hope this has been useful for you and hope that you will um, come and join us here uh, in China. You'll be very welcome.